Hey guys, Gunslinger Dust here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I put borders around games. I actually just figured this out, so you, you won't see it in my first few videos. You will see it from this point on for games that do not record at uh, 1280, 720, because that is the that is the size that I record at, but some games like Final Fantasy VII, which is an older game, does not record at that. And when sometimes there's just you know applications or games that you record, and there is just like a black border around it, simply because you know when you go to put it on YouTube or something, you know that that video just does not fill the space. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create kind of a, a backdrop or a border uh, for those videos, so that when you uh, put that video out, you know, it's not just black, black bars around the screen because I did that and it looks kind of cheesy. Um, I mean, it's okay. You can live with it. People, I'm sure people can live with it, but it does look kind of cool if you have like a custom background or something. And, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So with Camtasia, it's actually kind of tricky. Now, some of the other recording softwares out there or um, video editing softwares like Sony Vegas or some of these other, um, higher end, production softwares are you know easier to do this you can just kind of shrink the screen you can put pictures and stuff like that uh camtasia is not so easy but camtasia is what i have i have it from a few years ago when i used to do marketing videos and it was just you know the most simple for recording and uploading uh so i still use it to this day uh, because i figured i have it and that's just what i use and i can put my mo my watermarks in there um Okay, so it's, it's kind of tricky to do this. It does require a little bit of work, uh, and it does require a couple of things. First off, you need the image that you want to be the background. And second of all, you need a uh, photo editing software. Now, you don't have to be intimidated by this. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first off, you'll notice when I put a video into the clip bin and play it this game final fantasy 7 it does not take up the full screen i record at 1280 by 720 and this game plays at something lower than that i don't even know what the resolution is i record at this but it doesn't take up the screen so you know what are you going to do um so anyway if you play it yeah that's really loud you i hope you can hear it maybe you can't but regardless you can tell that this video does not uh, take up the full screen. So what we're going to do, how we're going to solve this, how we're going to put the border, is we're going to create a callout. We're going to click callout, and you'll notice you get a stupid little arrow thing. I mean, it's not stupid, but it's useless. Um, and instead, you're going to do add custom. And this is where you would insert the image that you want in the background. Now, here's the problem. Let's say that uh, this was my image, but you know, this is not the one that I'm going to use. I'm simply going to give you an example. So let's say that this was the image that I wanted to use a call out as a call out. You can see that it takes up the whole screen. Now it'll shrink down to the size you need it, and it even shows it right here. Um, but even if I, you know, lower the opacity or however you say that, you know, the issue is that it's either all or nothing, really. Um, so we actually have to edit this a little bit. So first off, what we need to do is we need to come over to Google and either, well, we either need to make a picture or we need to edit one. Um, and so this is the image I did. I just did Final Fantasy VII background. Uh, and I found an image that I really liked and I'm allowed to use it, but I will go ahead and put a link in the description just in case. Um, so this is the image I used. Now I came over and I went into GIMP. Now GIMP is again free. You can just Google it, just Google GIMP. Um, image manipulation, whatever. Once you have that, or if you have something else that you're familiar with, it's really simple. So what you do is you, you know, you open your image in this, you can open it as a layer, but I just open the image itself. And you're going to take this little square rectangular thing, and you're going to highlight um, the selection where the video actually is. Now it took me a few times to figure out where it is, uh, some trial and error, and I'll show you what it looked like um, before I figured it out. But just, just do it where you think it is. It's okay if it's not perfect for now. So you're going to select uh, where the video actually takes place. So the video in my videos, 
is about here. So I, you know, I selected this on the image. So then once you have this where the video is, we're going to go ahead and invert this selection. Now you'll notice that it actually highlights the little edges. There's a reason for this because we don't want where the video is. We're actually going to take that out because that's where the video is going to sit. Now for you, it's going to be different. You, uh, your video may actually be in the middle of the screen. So you might have to do this um, you know, you, you, you might just have to play around with a little bit, um, but you would just highlight wherever your video sits in the actual video player. So then you select the invert so that the rest of it is selected and you're going to go ahead and uh, right click, edit, copy, and then you're going to go ahead and right click again, edit, paste as new layer. And you'll notice that now we have on the clipboard a little dealy thing here, which is the edges that we just copied. So then we're going to click this little eyeball, which shows like visual or not. And you can see that there's nothing behind it. So this is going to be transparent. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us a border um, that's going to go around the video. And then we're going to take this little selection and we're going to export and we'll just name it whatever we can that we will remember it. So I'll just do FF7 uh, border. Um, and then you can do it as X, uh, PNG or JPEG. I usually do PNG because it's a little bit better um, with transparency. So once we've exported that, we're going to come over here and we're going to uh, do add, ed add edit custom whatever, whatever, because I don't know how to read. And you're going to come down and you're going to choose the image that you just saved it as. So this FF7 border, um, and then we're going to click OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down and choose it. OK, so now we have our border and you can see that it doesn't overlay it because we cut out the video. And it, anyway, uh, you will see the 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 edges around it. Now, I'm gonna, let me show you examples of um, you can see that it crops, and what I do is um, I don't I take off drop shadow, I take off fade, I take off fade out, um, and then the only thing I do is I just drop opacity. Now, what's interesting about doing this is you can actually see where you've missed the crop. Okay, so on this particular version, when I did it, when I didn't know what it was, I knew that I, I got the bottom and the right pretty damn good, but I missed the left side a little bit. So all I have to do is I have to do I have to undo three times. So edit, uh, undo once, undo twice, and undo three times. And what this does is it brings us back to uh, our highlighted square. So wherever your border is overlapping, just push it out or push it in according to how much you need to. If there's still black space, you need to push it in a little bit. If it's overlapping the video, you need to pull it out a little bit. And all, it's very simple. You just click on your little box and you just like pull it in or push it out, pull it in, push it out. Uh, you just do whatever you need to do in order to uh, get it wherever it fits. So if yours is like in the middle of the screen, you would just do that until it fits. And um, you would just export under a different name and you would come back to Camtasia. You would add custom uh, callout again, new custom callout, and then do that new image. Try it again. And, you know, it might take like a half hour or so. It took me about a half hour to get it right, which is really not that long because once I have it right, I can use, I can now use this for all of the videos for that series. So if I'm doing Let's Plays for a specific game and it's not recording at the full frame size or I just want to have a cool looking border around it, then I can do this once, get it right, and then it's nailed down. So I don't have to worry about it after that because I've already gotten it set. So that's really it, guys. That is how you create, um, you know, a border in Camtasia for, you know, a video that sits in the middle of the screen. Um, what you can also do, uh, once you have it, you're going to go ahead and drag this, uh, the length of this custom callout to the ends of the video. And again, you know, I turn off, you want to turn off fade, you want to turn off um, everything, but except for opacity, you can, you know, kind of mess with that. I usually drop it down. Uh, to maybe like 50% or so because I want it to look cool, but I'm not trying to, to make it the, you know, the, what you're looking at, you know, the, uh, the attention or the focus of the video. I'm just doing it so that, it, you know, it's not just so boring that it's just a black screen. It actually looks pretty cool like this. I mean, it's got like the, the, the dark metropolis background and, you know, and then when it's playing the video, um, 
you know, we now have something around it. So it's not just black bars. It's not so boring. And it looks pretty cool. So that's it, guys. That is how you uh, put a border around a video in Camtasia um, so that your videos are not so boring or they just don't have black bars around them. Again, make sure when you get your image, uh, it's either something you created or something you have permission to use um, for your, you know, for your videos or whatever. Um, and that's basically it. Again, you're just going to, you just download it, put it in uh, GIMP, take out the specific areas, um, and then you just copy and paste the visible areas, you know, invert, copy the area, paste as new layer, uh, turn off the other one. If you want, I can just show you again the steps real fast, just as a, just as a refresher. So again, if this was my video, I would... Uh, you can even come in here, so select, invert, right-click, edit, copy, right-click, edit, paste as new layer, turn off visibility of this one, and then export as an image. That's it, guys. That's how you make a border around a video in Camtasia. Hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, comment, all that cool stuff. Watch my gaming videos uh, if you have a specific thing that you need help with as far as gaming videos i am working on some stuff like how to record the uh, the noise and the your own voice and stuff like that working on all, all that cool stuff so that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys later gunslinger out